so my name is Umair Abed, as you said, and uh, I've been working as a software engineer for last uh, seven to eight years. Uh, I've worked with different set of companies, both product oriented and the ones who provide services uh, and with different technologies. So it was for both uh, professional and personal reasons. Uh, professionally, I wanted to experience a more multicultural work environment where like you work with different uh, backgrounds and just see how how you know uh, how people in different culture work and just wanted to uh, experience that north american work culture uh, also personally um i was in my personal life i was looking for more security and equal opportunity for myself and my family so yeah these were like uh, two prominent reasons i wanted to move abroad Last year in 2020, I think in January, I uh, seriously started job hunting and started looking for opportunities abroad. So I came across, uh, I was mostly using LinkedIn, but then I you know, got curious that if there are uh, specific companies with just, which, which uh, does just that, that they, they hire uh, employees from other countries and you know, uh, relocate them or support them in re relocating to, um, North America. So I Googled those companies. I, I think I uh, Googled exact those terms and Van Hack came up and I signed up for it. It was, it was not great because uh, after some time I realized that LinkedIn and the other uh, job portals, similar job portals, they don't tell you whether, uh, whether an employer is interested in hiring from someone else. So most of the times my applications weren't open and even if I get respond, it was like, we are not able to support your relocation or your visa process, et cetera. So that was like not working great. That's why I searched for exact those companies who, who does just that. So if you are looking for a job in a platform, you know that there's an option for relocation. Yeah. In every step, in every step. So uh, when I signed up, I did my English test and, you know, uh, I think one Ruby and JS test. Uh, and I just forgot about it. Two weeks later, a recruiter from Van Hack uh, like approached me and uh, uh, it was just a, a general casual chit chat session. And he told me all about it. And honestly, at that point, uh, my mind was not like thinking in that way that it can lead to something. It was just another uh, recruitment, uh, you know, introduction call. Like I was having so many of them, and at that point, I didn't realize it. But we basically started from there. The recruiter asked me uh, about myself, my skills, uh, and gave also gave me some suggestions. And he said that he will be coming back with, uh, you know, more concrete job interviews. And you know, and I passed the initial screening. And again, honestly, I didn't give it that much importance because. Since you are, when you are in this job hunt process, you, you, you do get those similar responses every now and then. But, but that recruiter, I think after two or three weeks, did came back with the job interview. And then with every step, there was a call with Van Hag where they guided me about how do, how do I go into this interview? What are the steps I need to prepare? And they even, uh, you know, uh, had some sessions with me where they told me this is somewhere my communication is lacking or this is somewhere which what is expected of me and that like helped me a great deal yeah and that was just like hiring process i think uh it's it feels like uh you know i've been with the van hack from the last year because from the moment i completed my test till i relocated in canada van hack someone from van hack was with me on every step it just feels really great. I saw this was my second interview, the job which which helped me relocate and which I was finally able to secure. So when uh, I gave my first interview, um, it it went well, but I didn't got the job. But the recruiter also, you know, he instead of uh, you know just leaving me there, he told me that this was what went wrong. This was the employer concern. And, you know, he also told me that it's not something about you. So there was a consolation session 
plus with also you know some uh, interview tricks on how to pitch yourself differently so you get the right message across and when i and and also uh, that interview led to a second interview because the recruiter told me that uh, interviewer told him that the candidate was fine but it was just a mismatch between what they are they were looking for and the skills i had so the recruiter, uh, you know, connected me with another company, Rice, for which I'm working for now. And when I uh, passed the initial screening for this company, I think Marina scheduled a session with me, and she basically gave me a very detailed walkthrough of how to communicate with North American managers. It was very specific and to the point, and contained all the do's and don'ts, you know, which I think it's it didn't not it only didn't help me with, you know, securing the job. It's still helping me now, uh, you know, just the way how to communicate in this North American culture. So um, I first had uh, an initials. So, so there, there were, I think, first interview was with Van Hack for initial screening. And then um, I applied for job i'm not sure yeah so the, the, the recruiter applied applied on the job for me i got the interview call there was an initial screening it was just an hour about talking about my background and and basically my previous work experience uh, after that initial screening <clears throat> i had a, a coding interview there were uh, i think one manager and two developers and that basically contained um, a half hour of a coding challenge. I think there were two questions, not very difficult. And then the other half of the interview was around system design where they uh, gave me abstract problems and uh, asked me to you know, design a solution around those. And then I think the final, there was a final interview with the CTO. I think that was more of a cultural match. Yeah, and after that, I got the job offer. didn't expect it that way right i mean um i was i was i have applied for so many times it was very very unreal because that barrier of you know uh moving abroad with the job it's 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 something very different entirely different into switching jobs between local market it's an entirely different domain and I was in, I was very unsure because I thought that I had so much to learn. It's like your your skills can only take you so far. And after that, it's it's a little bit of luck. It's a little bit of working on your communication skills and knowing more about that North American culture. And when I and I was still in the phase of like I need to do more. I need to do more. And when I finally got that job offer. I like it was it's still unreal I couldn't believe it and this whole experience so far it's still unreal like given the circumstances with the COVID and everything yeah I mean it's unreal that's that's just one word that comes to mind like it's unbelievable unreal I sometimes you know when I'm walking here taking a stroll in my neighborhood uh, sometimes you know the old life splashes through my eyes and I just can't believe that I'm here I'm like literally here it's unreal and it's amazing so yeah I mean it was on and off right sometimes uh, you know you give an interview you do everything right but then you just uh, do one thing wrong unknowingly unconsciously and that you know comes right to your face and you just start hating yourself that I I can do it like in my sleep why did I messed up there so there were like moments like those and then you do everything right but still you get that email that uh, we are you know we are moving in different directions and those were the moments right but uh, so there were like moments when you when you couldn't you know when you ask yourself why I am doing this when it's not like going anywhere and I'm doing <clears throat> sorry everything I can but then I mean it's 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 really life I think it 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 lets you down and sometimes it it gets you up so there were moments which lets you down and there were moments which you know uh makes you keep going like uh you start practicing on a medium to hard question and you get it done 
uh, there are moments like in your job when you do when you deliver a project that gets your adrenaline going so it's really like some you know normally days when you go to sleep it's more depressing but when you wake up i think you should find something you should have something in your life which you know helps you keep going that today is going to be a different day so it's okay to have bad ending bad days on uh, days ending on a bad note but you should but when it's the start of the day you should have something which you know keeps you going through that day the visa process was um uh, was really unpredictable and i had to set my expectations very low given the covid so that's uh uh what Uh, what i discussed with uh, with uh, our immigration consultant as well uh you know he was very um uh, sure that i would get one but then given the circumstances around the covid i just managed my expectations to you know keep them at at very low level because i had to you know renew passports for uh, two of my kids and everything was closed so i i just you know managed my expectations uh and had a um and i looking out for for opportunities like when the things are opening up i you know slowly uh collected my documents uh managed my documents and and then when um eventually after i think after being hired and joining it took me two two months to collect all my documents and apply for the visa and then there were like another four and a half months right and in the start it was it was it was being very nervous and anxious because you you look around you nothing is moving and then you want this big move and you're not sure um yeah the, the thing which helped me was to not read much into things like th- there is going to be a policy which will you know uh, end the visa which will you know just prevent anyone from coming in from canada or there is stuff which will, that they are not working on visa applications i just didn't read much into news i you know as since i already had the job and i was working remotely i kept my most of my focus on 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 the job itself rather than when i'm going to move uh yeah and then eventually one day it came the visa uh yeah but uh as far as so there were a lot of unpredictabilities but since we had a uh, immigration consultant if things went little out of control if i had question i always reached out to him and i really try to keep things simple right instead of you know doing going sideways to ensure that i get the visa i just did things by the book and followed the instructions of uh, the immigration consultant and yeah and we finally got the visa but uh, again this the, the circumstances were so uh, uh, so unpredictable so i really uh, after i got the visa i was in constant communication with uh, our uh, with van hacks relocation manager about what further documents you i need to have and and what can i do to prepare yeah so it was if there if if covid was not there i would have imagined a very smooth uh, process but even with the covid if you can you know it's just a suggestion for myself that if you can uh, you know manage your expectations keep them in low level and just try to focus on on your job i think it just follow the rules and follow the processes and it's really smooth yeah i would like to think we are we are like quite settled in i have got all the basic documents and need and things need to settle down like my sin bank accounts health insurance and everything um yeah i was just talking with my wife last week that when when we first moved in here everything was so new and unfamiliar but uh now i when i go outside it's it has been starting to feel like home uh one thing you feel here the difference which, which i really like is how much respect is given to everybody regardless of from where they are what is their social status nothing matters here everybody is so respectful so polite and always ready to help you it's it's been an amazing amazing and humbling experience uh so the first thing as we discussed is is communication right um and the communication is which i experience is just not about how how smooth and 
and how much uh, vocabulary you have. It's it's more about uh, managing the impression you leave on the other person with your communication. It's very important that the tone and the words you are choosing for communication, what kind of impression it will leave on the other person. And if that is the impression you actually want to leave. So that's, I think that was the most important advice which I received. And I really thought that this is basically uh, can be a deal maker or deal breaker. So that's very important. Be mindful about your communication and be conscious about how it is being perceived. And uh, the other thing I would say is, is that uh, interviews nowadays, especially with our, in our field, in IT field, it's not about just, uh, you know, if you have experience, then you can easily get jobs. Unfortunately, or fortunately, it's not like that because the things we do, they are, they are not easily communicated. And we do things in, and each job in IT is so different. We, are, we work with different businesses, different cultures and different uh, type of processes. So you really need to, as an, as an IT professional, you really need to have some sort of uh, sales skills and you need to know how do you sell yourself. So that's about creating the right portfolios studying about your employers think of them as as customers like they are something in the need and you are and you can fulfill their needs it's just about making them realize how you can help them yeah like and and build your profile uh around those those ideas like if you are uh, in, uh, applying for a specific job yeah the other tip is that rather than doing bulk applications uh, choose your uh, employers carefully, your your future or your desired employers, and build separate profiles around them. And keep in mind that you are basically selling yourself to a customer, which is an employer. Yeah, I think those two things help me a lot. 